What's going on kid family? Bully Kid here checking in and on today's video we are going to be finally permanently fixing these hazy headlights that we've had in our Civic. And if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing down below. Hit that bell icon always and stay up to date. So in my opinion the best thing to do when you're going to be restoring these headlights on any vehicle is probably take off the headlights from the vehicle it'll just be easier to sand it will be just easier and cleaner okay a lot of times when you're sanding wet sanding and you're spraying the abrasives on the on the headlights all that just runs down on the bumper and then just it really damages the paint so i don't also want to scratch the paint when i'm sanding so the best thing to do is remove the bumper and then remove the headlight so that's what we are about to do right now don't put the bumper on the concrete a lot like a lot of these youtubers are doing make sure you either put it on the grass or lay something on the concrete so you don't scratch the dang bumper yo all right guys we got one headlight out this is gonna be so much easier to sand down clean prep for the clear coat so i'm going to show you which screws you need to remove if you're running a 06 to 011 civic and then we'll get started all right guys this is the driver's side to remove the headlight first you have to take off the whole bumper right then you got one screw right here the second screw in there number three there's a fourth screw actually there's a fourth screw you can see it's on the bottom there so four screws and then the headlight will be loose but you can't wiggle the headlight loose from here until you take out this support bumper housing off support bumper housing you just pull to the outside here then there's one bolt back and back of the support housing in the back you just have to remove that then headlight assembly glides out like butter so let's take off the driver's side and then we'll get started we'll proceed off slide that off you guys can see I'm a little disappointed that there is so much rust accumulating on it but once that steps done the headlight slides right out All right guys, now that we have the headlights off, we are in the shade. I'm gonna show you a little bit up close how these headlights look like. Like you could tell right here the difference between clarity right here on top and then how it gets shady here. It just doesn't look good. Likewise, you see it here, the, the yellowing the scratches and then how clear it is on the edge which wasn't exposed to sunlight we've done a lot of those over-the-counter methods where you rub a product on wax it off and it works we've also tried the other product where you have a little drill and you sand it down but that did not work then we also even put omni coat on there and that did not help everything fades away within two to four weeks and it's back to looking ugly and hazy so to fix this problem permanently we will be sanding it down three step process then we will clear coat it and then we will buff the clear coat to make it look perfect and all right guys these are the supplies you will need you will need some 800 grit a thousand grit and 1500 polishing grit sandpaper here we're going to be wet sanding you also need some soapy water to wet sand as well as the main thing which is the clear coat and guys this is very important make sure you get a clear coat that is non yellowing as well as UV resistant for this once you have all this you guys are ready to sand and we're gonna start off with 800 grit sandpaper if your headlights are terrible you probably can start off with a 600 you're gonna sand left to right and then the other pass you're gonna to do top to bottom Every pass, I clean them up and I wipe them down. The 
This is how it looks like after sanding with 600. You can see the fine lines and the scratches, which is normal. Then we will be moving up to the next grit, which is a thousand, getting those bigger scratches removed. I did all the sanding by hand. If you have a polisher or a sander, feel free to use it. This is after the thousand grit sandpaper. Just make sure you feel the headlight, make sure there's nothing rough, everything is feels smooth to the finish so you can go and proceed with the 1500 final step sanding process. All right, and that is the final step. We are done with sanding. It is gonna look very hazy, but it's gonna look smooth and you won't be noticing any big scratches from the sanding. Everything should be very fine at this point. Then just to make sure the surface is dry and there's no excess water, we're gonna use an air compressor to air everything out. And then we will be using mineral spirits to just decontaminate the headlight of any oils or greases. Alright, and here we are. Guys, it is a little humid today, so I shouldn't really be painting, but again, I am. And make sure again, it's non-yellowing and UV protecting clear coat. We are going to do roughly around three passes of clear coat. Just notice how crappy the clear coat is coming out. I'm not sure if it's just because of the humidity or the clear coat itself, but it looks like it's applying thick. Here we are with the final coat. As soon as I sprayed these headlights, I took them inside where it was less humid and the air conditioning was running. Upon drying for about three hours, this is how it looks like. As you guys can see, it is drying, but it is not clear whatsoever. There's plenty of like air bulbs trying to escape, some kind of gases. It just did not apply very clearly, and it's very disappointed in, the, in this product as is. A lot of people say you can just uh, clear coat them and be good, but definitely not for me. So here I am trying to do a quick fix I'm using some Plast X trying to see if this product will help with the final outcome of this uh, clear coat so Plast X did not help whatsoever so I am going to be sanding this headlight with a 1500 sandpaper just to get rid of some of that orange peel, maybe it's going to look a little better, the clear coat. This is how it looks like after sanding. And I, I figured I'd give it another shot of Plastex at this point, just to see. At this point, we were really experimenting. We were not sure how this is going to come out. So the Plastex helped a little bit, but look at the headlight. You still see all the imperfections from the clear coat, from the sanding marks. So definitely was not satisfied. So I whipped out the ultimate compound. This is a nice uh, compound for buffing. So after the compound, I was a little happier, but I was still not satisfied. It was not crystal clear like I wanted it to be, so I decided to wet sand it again. And this time I went with a thousand sandpaper, then I followed it up with the 1500 sandpaper. Once I finished doing the 1000 and 1500, I just wanted to do a little test pass right here of the ultimate compound at this one certain spot. As you guys can see, the oils and the cutting 
agents of this compound really do work great even as you can see by hand application here and I was quite happy with the results here of the clarity uh, most of the little specks were, were pretty much gone at this point so I decided to just compound the whole headlight and we'll see how it goes and look at the difference with the non-compounded side and the compounded side. Much better, but not perfect yet. So we decided to whip out the orbital buffer for this application because my arms were getting tired and I needed something with um, more capability. So we're using the orbital buffer here with the ultimate compound. We gave it about three applications of it and it really started to look much much better so for those of you guys that are doing it by hand it's kinda tough to finish up and seal everything in we just use the Carnabua wax here any wax is fine alright and here is one headlight that I only used 1500 wet sandpaper after I clear coated it. It is clear but it does retain a lot of the imperfections still from the clear coat. Um, from about a foot or two feet it looks very clear it doesn't have any imperfections definitely the yellow is gone but look at this headlight guys this is the headlight I used first the 1000 sandpaper followed by the 1500 sandpaper and then obviously the compounding afterwards this one came out much much better much more clear without any artifacts from that clear coat so definitely recommend a 1000 and a 1500 wet sanding process this is the final result guys where I did both headlights with the 1000 and 1500 steps much clearer than before I'm very happy with the results as you guys can see this was the before overall the headlight was yellowy it was patchy it just it just made the car look aged and the after one more time here I'm trying to zoom in as close as I can and and try to focus on the glass itself as you guys can see it is it is very clear obviously if there's imperfections on the inside of the glass you won't be able to buff those out but for what it was worth, I'm actually quite surprised how this came out. Again guys, thank you for watching the whole video if you made it to the end. And be sure to subscribe for more content.